Today I'm exploring in the Lake District and I'm using one of these to help me. It's an ordnance survey map and every hill, stream, road, church, building, nearly everything and every centimetre in the country is covered by one of these. And I can find nearly anything, including me. And I do it by using the grid that divides up the map. So, in fact, this cross is where we are now. Now, I always remember that you find a grid reference by going along the corridor and up the stairs. Along the corridor, or bottom, first to find what's called an Eastings number. I need the number on the left side of the square. And then up the stairs to find the Northings number on the bottom line of the square. Those two numbers give us our four-figure grid reference, 2805. So now we're in this square on the map. But that's still quite a big area. I want to know precisely where I am. So I'll divide the sides of the square up into 10 sections. Then go along the corridor and up the stairs again to get two more numbers. And if I slot these two new numbers into the original four figures, I get a six-figure grid reference, 288052. That tells me precisely where we are on the map. I've got another six-figure grid reference here, 285061, and it's for my end destination, my hotel. So we're heading north for four centimetres. This is a scale map. It's got a ratio of one to 25,000. So one centimetre on the map equals 25,000 centimetres, or 250 metres, in the real world. So four centimetres equals four times 250 metres, which equals 1,000 metres. And 1,000 metres equals one kilometre. And the map also tells me how steep the path is. Contour lines link points of equal height above sea level. Depending on the scale, there's usually a five or 10 meter difference in height between each contour on an ordnance survey map. So the closer together the contours are on the map, the steeper the gradient of the hill in real life. And this is it. I've made it to my hotel at grid reference 285061.